of the new world order, Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. So on Friday, there was actually a global climate strike that took place that I was telling y'all that was going down actually uh, ahead of time. There have been weeks of air participation. This climate strike was inspired by Greta Thunberg. She's actually a 16 year old uh, Swedish climate activist who started skipping school on Fridays to basically bring attention and awareness to climate change and urging politicians to actually make moves on this. Well, a year and a half of doing that and then it rolled into this global climate strike that took place this past Friday that uh, people say there were an estimated 4 million people worldwide that actually took part in this, in this strike. The largest climate strike uh, on record. Now, keep this in mind as uh, not only did uh, the uh, meteorological, uh, the World Meteorological Organization of the United Nations actually re released a report saying that um, uh, via the United Nations basically saying that the 2014 to 2019 were the hottest five year, was the hottest five year period on record. Uh, also, the uh, United Nations Climate Summit actually begins today, and Trump is not taking a part in it. Green Wall graduate. The new world order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. Yo, make sure y'all sign my petition too. Get Donald Trump off Twitter. He's a danger to us, people abroad, U.S. troops, all of that, and continue to violate Twitter policy. Find the change.org link in the video description since you're most likely watching this on YouTube. They hating on us on the gram, trying to shut down, shut us out, and shut down the information exchange between me and the people, between Black Fox News and y'all. So. You know what I'm saying? Just keep that in mind. But follow us on the uh, on the on the YouTube and definitely pay attention to our BFM Radio reports where we go over this as well. Now check this out: the uh, Trump administration has uh, dismissed its own internal uh, agency's findings. Um, the agency Customs and Border Protection actually released a report that where they have been accruing uh, expert findings for years that shows that there's a direct link between the increase in migration and from Central America, specifically from Guatemala, and in uh, climate change, showing that climate change uh, has, uh, in it hurting the uh, farming, has uh, led to crop shortages, food and job insecurity, of course, and of course, poverty, which is leading people to come to the US. So, and of course, they're ignoring it because then they won't be able to justify their own immigration policies. You dig? Green War and graduate. The world though the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. Sign my petition, y'all. Get Donald Trump on Twitter. We, we all do it together. We can do it, man. We continue to put us, US troops, people abroad in danger, uh, increasing death threats on politicians and US citizens, uh, making a uh, someone division, putting out misinformation, violating Twitter policies. Uh, you can find the change.org link in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube or go straight to change.org and look up Get Donald Trump off Twitter. It lays out exactly why you should be removed from that platform, including what I just mentioned. Now, um, uh, her, her, her name is um, Idalia Herrera and her 20-month-old toddler, uh, Iker Cordova, they're Hondurans and they actually were trying to cross into the United States as of recent. Um, they were forced back into Mexico to remain in uh, Matamoros, Mexico as part of Trump's Remain in Mexico policy, but they were coming to uh, apply for asylum. After weeks of waiting, they, get, they got impatient and then they tried, they tried to cross into the U.S. In, um, the three, via the Rio Grande and they died and trying to do so. So rest in peace to them, rest in power to them and uh, just keep that in mind that like people are desperate to get in the U.S. and they're leaving for very good reasons. And that whole Remain in Mexico shit is really putting people in danger. That's why people got to make a move. Motherfuckers getting kidnapped, health and ransom and all of that. Like it's real. Green go and graduate. The New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. So the United States and El Salvador, the Central, Ameri Central American country, have actually reached a deal. They reached a deal Friday that basically says that anybody seeking asylum that passes through El Salvador will have to uh, seek asylum in El Salvador first before coming to the U.S. to seek asylum. And uh, people that have actually reached the United States but past El Salvador can be sent back to El Salvador to uh, seek asylum. Now, Amnesty International actually released a statement about this, basically saying that El Salvador is one that has one of the highest rates of violence in the world. And um, especially, and now I'm paraphrasing, but especially like as it comes to uh, gender-based, with gender-based violence that is so bad that Amnesty International already rated it one of the worst countries in the world to be a woman. So they can't even keep their own citizens safe, let alone uh, asylum seeker so you know it's just looking really bad and definitely not a humanitarian act. Green Wall graduate 
What up, the new world order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. And I told y'all about reports last week, mainly coming from the Washington Post by way of Democracy Now, our main source, that showed that there was an intelligence official that was privy to a conversation that a top White House person, person and or uh, the president himself was having with a former leader and that there was uh, money being offered and an, ex an exchange made that was so troubling that this official had actually submitted a whistleblower report to his superior. The superior felt like it was valid, then submits it to the acting director of national intelligence, Joseph McGuire, who then hid the report. Still has not handed over, the, handed over the details of this whistleblower report. So now House Intelligence Chair Adam Schiff found out and now is forcing this person, McGuire, actually to uh, speak in front of the House Intelligence Committee this week. Now it turns out that, it then turned out that it was uh, Donald Trump, right? Of course. Then it turned out that it was, uh, he was talking to uh, the Ukrainian president, uh, Vladimir, um, uh, Volodymyr, pardon me, Zelensky. And now it turns out that he was asking this person to basically investigate Joe Biden, uh, 2020 presidential candidate, uh, Obama's vice president, and his son in the business that they have out there in Ukraine. So Trump actually said there was no quid pro quo going on, like there was no offer of money or anything or favor for a favor shit, but basically said that he was, the talk was largely congratulatory and they were talking about corruption. He doesn't want anybody like Vice President Joe Biden even talking about um, uh, even creating corruption out there basically. So uh, then they snitched on themselves. We'll see how this pans out though. Green war on graduation, cause that shit is illegal. Of the new world order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani is actually calling for, uh, he's, he said he's planning on introducing uh, to the United Nations General Assembly this week the Hormuz Peace Endeavor, which is basically going to call on all foreign powers to remove themselves from the Persian Gulf amid tensions between the United States and Iran. Now, keep in mind that. Uh, in recent weeks, uh, there was actually uh, drone strikes and, uh, and uh, air raids that took place over uh, Iranian, uh, uh, pardon me, Saudi Arabia oil facilities. And that these facilities contribute to a lot of uh, the uh, world's oil distribution, definitely in Saudi Arabia for sure. And that um, these attacks were actually claimed by Houthi rebels in Yemen. But the U.S. has actually blamed Iran for the attacks and they denied this shit. So as a response to those attacks, uh, the U.S. then went and imposed sanctions on them, um, on their central bank and other financial institutions. And they also sent military to Saudi Arabia, military forces. So it seems like everybody getting ready for war. We'll see what happens though. Green war on graduation. New world order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. Now, I told y'all last week on how ex-military chief Benny Gantz of the Blue and White Party actually won the parliament seat in Israel over Benjamin Netanyahu, who's actually had the parliament seat for the last two terms uh, and having the Likud party up there. Now, uh, they share similar policies, though, regarding their treatment of Palestinians, uh, but in a plot twist, the Joint List, which is actually a group of Arab political parties, actually has publicly endorsed Gantz. Now, they said that they don't you know, fuck with his policies. And keep in mind, they haven't supported a prime minister since 1992. But this is their attempt to essentially end the political career of Benjamin Netanyahu, who has shown himself to be racist over the past two terms that he's run, uh, that he's actually been the PM, and um, is currently facing three indictment, uh, uh, three indictment or indictments of corruption, and could be facing charges within the next few weeks and months. Now, uh, Ruben Rivlin, Rivlin, pardon me, the uh, Israeli president, actually has to appoint somebody to basically form a coalition government. He said he's meeting with Netanyahu and Gantz tonight. We'll see what happens. Green war on graduate. The new world order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. Now, over in Egypt, though, six, since 2013, there hasn't been any uh, protests or uprising ever since uh, current president uh, Abdel Fattah of Sisi actually overthrew uh, Mohamed Morsi. And, you know, they ended up actually like uh, jailing and, you know, killing a lot of people since then uh, to quell any uprisings or any. Uh, government resistance you could we'll just call it mildly right so but uh that all changed this past friday with thousands of people in cairo egypt and in major cities across egypt actually had took to the streets calling for the resignation of el sisi due to a social media post that was basically accusing him and government officials of uh miss of the misuse of public money 
So there were thousands that were in the streets and uh, police then were actually deploying tear gas, beating people to fuck up, ended up arresting hundreds of people. So it's going down. Uh, LCC is actually expected to uh, make a statement on the uh, today at the United Nations uh, Climate Action Summit and is going to speak to the United Nations General Assembly this week. It's reported also that in the, during the G7, President Trump, while waiting for LCC, was like, where's my favorite dictator? What a fucking dickhead. Green War and graduate. The new world, though, the bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BS of report. Uh, sign my petition, get down to Trump on Twitter. You can find the change.org link in the video description. You're watching this on YouTube. We'll go straight to change.org and you'll find that link out exactly why you removed from the platform. Now, I told y'all yesterday that, or this weekend that they we're actually going to have a rally in Houston, Texas, honoring Narendra, Narendra Modi, the uh, uh, president of India. Now, I didn't tell y'all that Donald Trump was going to be there at this rally. Turned out it was like 50,000 people in this uh, Houston, Texas uh, region with a bunch of people on the outside actually protesting against Modi's human rights abuses. Um, namely, what's been going on in uh, Kashmir as of recent. And, um, Kashmir is a Muslim majority region, you know, Indians uh, majority Hindu, but uh, there have actually been uh, crackdowns on the Indian administered section of Kashmir that have led to extrajudicial killings, um, cut off communications, or whatever shit that actually two Kashmiri citizens are actually suing uh, Modi for via the United States. Now, in this happening at this Howdy Modi rally, uh, President Trump actually made the announcement that India and the U.S. will actually be uh, holding in November the first ever tri-service military exercise. So, and they both under, have an understanding regarding like protecting their borders and a bunch of other bullshit, man. But, you know, it seemed like dictators support dictators and Trump might want to be one. Green war and graduate. The new world, though the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. Sign my petition, get Donald Trump off Twitter. Find the change.org link in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube, which is most likely since they hating us on us on the Instagram and shut down both my personal account and the Black Fox News account. I'm trying to keep us from uh, giving y'all this information, but we on YouTube, we definitely on BFM Radio if you find us on uh, uh, all your favorite streaming platforms. And, um, you know, you can also go find the change.org link at change.org. Uh, and the petition is called Get Donald Trump Off Twitter. And they got exactly why he should be removed from the platform. Now, Dennis Turner, this is a retired police officer in Orlando, Florida, that's actually uh, working at this charter school, actually is under investigation after he, he arrested this six-year-old and eight-year-old uh, black kid. Now, the six-year-old, oh, pardon me. I know the six-year-old girl was a, was, was a, a black kid. Now, she was arrested after she actually like, had kicked a staff member after having a temper tantrum. The girl's mother, grandmother actually came in saying that she kind of uh, has behavioral issues and suffers from sleep apnea. And he responds, well, I have sleep apnea and I don't behave like that, or whatever. So like, he's under investigation. And then it came out that 20 years ago, he was actually uh, charged with aggravated child abuse against his uh, son. So, he must not like kids, you know what I mean? Um, he's a black cop too, so, hey, y'all black motherfuckers, y'all gotta get called out too. Green War and graduate.